hello and welcome, or welcome back. I'm the Tilted Crown Gourmet. The holidays are here, and hopefully you had an opportunity to watch my eggnog making video. If not, the link will be in the description. However, of course, you're gonna have some leftover eggnog. Therefore, why not make an eggnog pie? So let's get some prep done and let's get cooking. This is perfect for the holidays. It's sweet, but not too sweet and has those holiday spices that you crave this time of year. Not to mention, it's in a gingerbread crust. Further, it's decorated with sugar-coated cranberries, gingerbread cookies, rosemary sprigs, and star anise. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel as I release new content every Friday. Let's start by making our sugar-coated cranberries. Place your water in a small saucepan over medium heat and add in your sugar and stir until the sugar dissolves. Once the sugar is dissolved, place in your cranberries and give them a stir for approximately a minute. Remove them with a slotted spoon and place on a wired rack so they can set and air dry for approximately one hour. After they have set for an hour, roll them into sugar, then place on a saucer and put in the refrigerator, uncovered. This step can be done up to three days ahead. To make the gingerbread crust, first cream your butter until light and fluffy. Then add your brown sugar and cream together for two minutes utilizing medium speed. You'll follow this by your molasses stirring to combine. Then add your egg and mix until incorporated. Add your flour, baking soda, and spices, which consist of ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, and cloves. Mix everything thoroughly. Spread plastic film on your counter and place your dough in it using your film to form it into a disc and wrap it tightly. Place this into the refrigerator for two hours, but not more than a day. This can also be frozen for up to one month. Remove your dough from the refrigerator and on a floured counter, place it and roll to a quarter of an inch or approximately six millimeters thick. If your dough breaks apart, it's okay, just push it back together. Remove the dough from the counter and place it into your tart pan or pie plate. Again, if it breaks, don't worry about it, just push it back together. Utilizing a knife, remove the excess dough. Pull holes in the bottom of the crust with a fork or a knife, then place into a freezer for 15 minutes while you're preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 degrees centigrade. With the leftover dough, push it all back together and re-roll it. You're gonna then, utilizing cookie cutters, cut it into decorative shapes. Once cut, place onto a baking sheet that's been lined with a silicone mat or parchment paper. You'll then bake these for 10 minutes or until they are slightly browned around the edges. Once baked, you'll remove them and place them on a cooling rack. Also, bake your crust for 15 minutes or until it's slightly golden. Once done, again, place on a cooling rack to cool while you're making your eggnog filling. For your filling, sprinkle your gelatin over cold water and allow it to bloom. This should take about five minutes. Once it has thickened, place hot water into the gelatin and mix until it dissolves. If for some reason it doesn't completely dissolve, place into the microwave for 10 second intervals until it is dissolved. Don't overheat your gelatin. In a bowl, cream your cream cheese until it's light and fluffy. Next, we will add our sweetened condensed milk, our eggnog, lemon juice, vanilla, cinnamon, and nutmeg. We're going to mix until incorporated, which should take approximately one to two minutes. Finally, add your dissolved gelatin and mix until combined. Pour your filling into your cooled gingerbread crust and place into the refrigerator for at least six hours, but preferably overnight. Once you remove it from the refrigerator prior to serving, sprinkle it with a dusting of nutmeg and cinnamon, as well as placing on the gingerbread cookies that we baked utilizing the leftover dough, the sugar cranberries, rosemary sprigs, and star anise. I'm the Tilted Crown Gourmet, wishing you and yours happy holidays. Bon Appetit. <laughs>